Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify World. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. I have the green tie. And that means we are reviewing some apps today. All right, so today we are finally reviewing a bold app. So Bold Product Options is an app that allows you to add customization and unlimited options to your products because you're currently limited and you probably notice if you're on this video because you're looking for a solution for that limitation of variance. Anyway, as always, we're going to do a full breakdown of the app. All the sections that we're going to talk about are right here. And there's also going to be timestamps down below so you can just skip to the section that interests you most. But first, what does it really do? As mentioned before, you can add unlimited customizations and options to your current product listing. But wait, there is more. You can also use priced option, I think the feature is called, which basically allows you to charge an additional fee based on specific choices your customer makes. And if all of that wasn't enough, you also have conditional logic option that basically allows you to hide and show different options depending on what the customer previously chose as an option. If that sounds a bit confusing, don't worry, I'll show it in a bit. It's gonna make sense. Okay, so let's install the app. So you can find the app in the Shopify app store and the installation is pretty straightforward. You just click on install and it's going to integrate with your store. The first step is to update the theme to add the app's code. The app will suggest you to make a duplicate of your first theme just to be safe in case something goes wrong and we suggest you absolutely do this. So in case the app is not something that you need, you can just uninstall the app and revert to the previous version. Just a quick note, if you're often installing and uninstalling apps, you might want to check out the re wind app that we have already re reviewed way back in the days when our quality wasn't as good and basically what rewind is going to allow you to do is just go to the previous version of the code so you make sure you don't clutter up your code with a bunch of codes from apps that don't exist anymore of course the free alternative would just be like they say in this app to just duplicate your theme before you install the app and then you should be good because you can just go back to that version afterwards Anyway, let's go back to the app. Okay, we made a duplicate of our team and now we can click on begin automatic update button. The window will pop up where you need to choose a theme that you want to update and we are ready for the next step. The dashboard is pretty simple and you'll find your way around pretty easily. Creating custom fields with both products option is really easy and it consists of two steps. Step one, choose your product. Step two, give it some options, right? Fairly easy. For the first page, click on Create Edit Options. You will be redirected to the Options tab, and from there, just click on the only option available. Create an option set. Give the name to your option set. It is only for your reference, so you can refer to it later. You can kind of find it, you know? Uh, we will name it Upload Image Custom Pendant. Now we need to choose on which products we want to add our little customization. Uh, just click on Select Products, and a new window pops up. Here you should choose uh, if you want to add customization to your products or dynamic lists. We will go with products, but if you want to add it to the whole store or a specific collection, dynamic lists can be a huge time saver. In this new window, you can choose one or more products. You can filter it by collection, vendor, product type, but also search field right here. Um, once you've selected all the products, you just want to click on save selection. The next step is to configure the custom fields. Here again, you have two options. You can create a new option or choose from the existing ones. Uh, as you know, we just installed this app, so we don't have any existing fields. Our only option is to create a new option. The process again is really simple. First field is name, the name that's going to be visible and you should make it representative. We will go with, for example, upload image here, GPG and PNG files, only. In the next step, you can choose from a bunch of custom fields, including drop down menus, check boxes, radio buttons, color swatches, images, text boxes, image swatches, I'm sorry, date. Um, as you can see, it's pretty big list of variants. As you might guess, we will go with file upload. Uh, if you click on show advanced options, you will be able to add help text, which is always useful. It's a little line that is explaining the field in detail. Click on save option set and your custom option is created. Okay, now let's jump to our demo store and see how it looks. The store is loading. We added it to the product and boom, here it is. It actually looks nice. So um, 
Let's see how much we can customize it. Back to the app dashboard and click on the display settings. In this section, you can configure how you would like the options to be presented to your customers. Saving the display settings will create bold options.css assets, which will automatically be included in the team.liquid. Here you can change colors, font sizing, padding, border, spacing. Basically, you can make it fit your brand. So as I mentioned before, you can do conditional logic, meaning if they, your customers choose one element, it's going to show different type of other options below than if they would have chosen something else. Again, different options. Let's say you buy a toy, you know, is the toy a car? Then do you want it to have wheels? And do you want it to have like a roof? Or if the toy is a boat, then, you know, you're going to have other options. So that's what the conditional logic can do for you. All right. Pretty straightforward. Cool. You can also make adjustable prices, but also allow your customers to edit options in the cart. That's pretty useful. It all comes with a price tag though, which we will see in the next section of this video. But before we jump to our facts corner and talk about price, it's pretty useful to see how all of this looks on a mobile. All right. So I have my mobile right here. I'm going to overlay it right here to the right. Um, it's going on the demo store and actually it looks pretty good as you can see uh, for some reason it did load a little bit slower than usually so let's test this app on testmystorespeed.com to see if it slows down our store so that brings us to the next section all right so on testmystorespeed.com i'll overlay it here to the right basically it's one of our free tools you should totally use it it's going to test how fast all of your pages are on your store since we already tested it before we can just go to this useful history link right 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 there and we can compare the two versions from before we install the app with after we install the app to see if you know both product option is a problem as we can see, there is two new requests and the page loads time went up by a little bit. Um, it's not hugely problematic, but again, if you keep installing and uninstalling tons of apps, this is going to add up and it does going to go slow down your store. So make sure to go to testmystorespeed.com and check out your store. I mean, it's, it's free. Alrighty, now let's talk about the facts in the facts corner. There's the corner. Okay, so first let's talk about pricing. There is two different plans, the basic and the premium plan. The main thing you kind of need to know about it is that adjustable prices, conditional logic, and edit options in cart, and also image and color swatches, uh, they're only available in the premium plan at 50 bucks a month. The other plan at 20 bucks a month has all of these features, which are also already pretty useful. If you're wondering what the competitors are, because I don't know, you don't like the color of bold, you don't like red, I, I don't know why, then you're coming to the right place because the competitors are uh, infinite product options by Hulk Apps, advanced product options by Megaworks, best custom product option by Relentless App, Product options, variant option by Pixel app, infinite option by ShopPad, and dynamic product options by iTourist Inc. Those are kind of all of the competitors we could think of. And then another important feature we need to mention are integrations, because you know, you want your apps to play nicely with each other. So what does this app integrate with? Well, it integrates with Spently, which I love that app. It's a really good app and we reviewed it. So make sure to check out if you're like, well, what Spently? You got to go check out that app review, Spently. It also includes, well, includes, integrates with Bolt Cashier and Bolt Subscription. All right, fair enough. Now, before we move on to the ratings, some of these features in this app can be done with code. And I'm going to go back to that in just a second. But if you're wondering how you want to do a very basic version of what this app can do, very basic, make sure to check out our coding tutorial right here, where I explain how some of these fields, some of product customization can be done through development. Again, totally different ball game, more basic, more work involved on your side, but check out the video. Maybe it's useful, right? And then we're going to jump to reviews. I think the last time I checked this had a 4.6 out of five star rating, something like 2,100 reviews. We'll overlay them right here. That's the breakdown. And then I'll also overlay some of the, what I thought were interesting reviews that you should maybe take note of. So I'll overlay them here. Pause your screen a second. There's good. There's bad. There's fantastic. There's less good. I mean, I'm trying to be as fair as I can here. 
Okay, so the last element in this video is who should use it and should you use this app? Well, that's a pretty good question. I would say if you have a lot of customizations that you have on a product with a lot of variants, then this is definitely an interesting app if you constantly make changes to the app, to the variants. Otherwise, it might be interesting in just hard coding it and leaving it once if you're like, no, 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 I'm never going to touch these variants and these options ever, ever, ever again. Yeah, then consider just talking to a dev and paying a one-time fee, which is probably going to be a bit higher than the original fee, but it's just one time. Alternatively, if you want just the ease of mind of playing around with it, um, yeah, then this app, we use it all the time and I think it's a great app. So thanks a lot both for creating this app for the ecosystem and I will see you in another video. Don't forget, there's uh, dev videos where we do development uh, jobs and little tricks for your Shopify store. There's also strategy videos right here where we talk about all kinds of important things you should know as a Shopify owner. And then last but not least, there should be a subscribe button down there somewhere and it would mean the world to me. Thanks a lot guys and I'll see you in another video. Ciao.